uh, good day everyone my name is Johnson Tawani and then today I will be teaching engine components engine components is in N1 motor trade theory but before I begin or before I start I would like you to know that if you have chosen mechanical engineering and you have chosen to study at the college, you have made the right choice and decision in your life. You will never go wrong. Okay, now let's begin. Uh, we call this, this is our first component of the engine, and it's called the rocker cover. And this is an oil, oil lead. This is where you pour oil inside the engine. Okay, this part of the rocker cab is the part that you see the moment you open your car bonnet. This is the part that you see, it's the top part of an engine. So, our second. Our second component of the engine is called the camshaft. Camshaft. So the camshaft is the brain of an engine. It controls everything in and inside an engine. It controls the valves, the pumps, everything. It's controlled by the camshaft. That's why I call it the brain of an engine. Okay, and then our our third component is the cylinder head. Cylinder head. This is the cylinder head. Its function is to keep the cylinders inside this one keeps the cylinders inside so that they don't slip out also it also contains or consists of valves it consists of valves alongside the cylinders and then we have our fourth component which is the cylinder block cylinder block this is the biggest part of an engine the cylinder block I think it's, it's the, also the, the one which makes the engine heavy because this block, the whole block is just an aluminium block and it's very heavy so its function of the cylinder block the piston are inserted here inside this opening so that they can reach the crankshaft and we are going to the fifth component of our engine which is the crankshaft this is the most important shaft in an engine because it is connected with the piston it is connected with the pistons so that the pitch, the piston may be able to move up and down is because of this crankshaft and then we are going to our six the six component of our engine which is the main bearings main bearings So the function of the main bearings is to ensure that the, when we connect the crankshaft with the piston, everything moves smooth. Everything moves smooth. Okay, then we are going to the bottom part of an engine. The bottom part of an engine consists of a component called a sound. A sound. This is the underneath of an engine. Oil is stored here. 
when you pour oil here from the rubber cover on the oil lid, it comes down to sit here on the sub. And then when the engine starts to function, there are pumps which pumps up the oil and then lubricate the, 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 the pistons and the valves and stuff. Okay, uh, the four parts here at the cylinder block, let's get back here at the cylinder block, there's an inlet manifold. Inlet manifold. And this other side, okay, the left hand side is inlet manifold. And then the right hand side will consist of an out let me call so the the function of this inlet main fault that's where the fuel enters the engine and then the outlet main fault that's where the smoke that comes out of the exhaust comes from. It comes from the outlet main fault of the engine. And then I already explained about the bottom part of the engine which is the sump. Uh, let's go to to this part, the piston. Piston. Okay. What is the function of a piston? The function of a piston is to create a rotation movement on the crankshaft. This, in other words, the piston converts chemical energy. The piston, I want you to hear me well on this one. The piston converts chemical energy into mechanical energy. So, that's the function of a piston. And then it consists of two rings, which is a compression ring. And oil ring. And then we have our piston rod. Piston rod. We have our piston rod. The function of a piston rod. The function of a piston rod is to connect the piston and the crankshaft. So that when the crankshaft is spinning, it creates that rotational movement. So uh, on our last component, which is the most important, the fly wheel. This is our most important, also our most important component in an engine, the flywheel. The function of a flywheel is to start or to spin the crankshaft. The, the flywheel is connected with the starter motor. So when the flywheel starts spinning, it also starts spinning the crankshaft. So when the crankshaft starts spinning, the engine then starts and the car starts vroom, just like that. I hope you enjoyed this uh, video. Uh, I would like you to please subscribe to my channel. Thank you.